from this concluding remarks and where to go. So, yes, we'd like to thank everyone for being here. This has been, as most of our workshops, a great thing to host. We'd especially like to thank the exercise leaders who've been working in Zoom and maybe some in person who are mentoring other students. More on that later if you would like to do that. We've had many instructors. How many have we had? Is it up to 10? Well, five or 10 instructors who have put a lot of effort into preparing the material, revising it, and actually teaching. We've had countless other helpers that have been busy answering all your questions on HackMD. So um, even though you don't see their names anywhere, um, they've been a big part of making this a success. And also all attendees for being here. If you've been helping out and your name isn't on the workshop webpage and you'd like to be, please send a pull request to do that. So if you attended, which I guess most of you have, feedback as usual. You can also send by email or contact. If you look behind this link, you can find our code refinery chat and we'd welcome you to join there and chat with us more. If you haven't registered for the workshop already, well, it's not that it matters to attend, but it will help with our funding and reports. You can find the link from here. And then also you'll receive a uh, survey in four to six months about how your work has been improved. If you want to keep studying these type of materials, well, all the material will stay available. It's there, it's open source. It will keep being updated every um, for every future workshop. You're encouraged to reuse them however you'd like, whether you mentor other people or whatever. Um, really, and if you want to contribute, well, really the whole workshop is teaching you how these lessons are made. We have lots of partners that can support you. So you can read here and find the different links of how you can contact people. From personal experience, I can say there's plenty of support at my university, Alto, and we're here for you every day in the Scrod session. We have some upcoming courses we'd like to highlight. First off, there's Code Refinery. So the next one's Dates are Knowns. I didn't see a registration form for it yet, although maybe it's just not linked from the website. You can already start telling people to register for it now. Yeah, I can say that we didn't open a registration yet because we want to take all the lessons learned from our current registration and make it easier for everybody. Right. So yeah. that will happen soon. So it will be even better, easier, more productive uh, next time. Yeah. So down below, you can see different other partners that have courses available. Um, if you like the live stream format, at least these three live stream courses are coming up. Python for Scientific Computing has been a very popular course, even more popular than Code Refinery. It will be live stream, basically this kind of style. Last year, our peak viewership was 500 people, and my goal this year was 5,000. So who knows if we'll actually get to that since I haven't done any advertising and we'll probably run out of time to do much more. But yeah, if you want to help advertise that, you're welcome to. Um, if you want a certificate, please check the course website for information depending on your location. Not all partners offer them, but whatever we know will be there, including the requirements for what to host. If you would like to use something that's publicly funded in the EU, um, that's an alternative to GitHub, Code Refinery has a GitLab that's run locally. You can check that out here. It's a great option for people who are in the Nordics. 
and need to collaborate across universities and can't use commercial services. If you want to help Code Refinery, well, there's many options. The easiest way is to tell people about us, uh, ask people to start registering for the next workshop and all that kind of stuff. Especially consider coming back as a exercise leader. Um, if you attend it alone and you think that you know other people that know this, come as their leader. You can do it as a registered group or as we've seen from our feedback and icebreakers, many people are doing these exercises together in small groups. You can lead this for your group next time. We have had really good feedback about when people do that. If you want to get involved in Code Refinery, there's a lot more that goes on in Code Refinery besides teaching. There's material development, there's um, outreach, there's advertising, communication, there's meetings, there's deciding what to do, there's managing all these people. We have space for many more people than what you've seen here. And we need all the help we can get. You can join our meetings. So every the first Monday of each month is a community call, which is sort of a good way to get um, like get an introduction to what's available. As an individual, you can join. There's many different options to do, whether it's teaching alone as an independent teacher or contributing material, all the things we've said above. But especially if you're part of an organization, uh, maybe your whole organization could join. You can systematically ad advertise to your audience, run your own in-person or online breakout rooms where you help people with exercise, offer certificates, learn from us to improve your own teaching, and so on. And if you want to make a career out of software, like you think, oh, these kind of tools, I'd really like to know more. This is what I'd like to focus on. The concept of a research software engineer might be right for you. So many of us are part of the Nordic research software engineers. And um, for us, well, we're, we overlap with the code refinery chat. And we have a upcoming unconference where we'll talk about various topics related to this, including careers. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Let's go back to HackMD, check the feedback, and we can answer any final questions. Or also, so um, if you want to meet the instructors, you can in this Zoom link, which I am adding now uh, here. Feel free to chat with us in person and just see what else, like ask all your other non-technical questions, whatever. And would anyone in Helsinki area, would you like to meet up for a dinner or something like that tonight to even talk more informally? So, yeah, Radovan, any thoughts? Anyone else here in the studio Zoom who would like to join for an online final discussion? What would we like to do for next time? How would you like to change things? In terms of format? Yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, so of course we are thinking about the format and there we really need all your input on whether we should keep these six half days, whether we should try something different. In terms of content, um, the things that I would like to do more as, uh, lesson development on is how to use containers. Mm -hmm. There are already really cool lessons, so to get an overview and use them. The other thing that I'm really excited about is to create a lesson on how to parallelize without parallelizing the code. So how to run mm -hmm. something if we need 300 images, like like in this example before, yeah. how do we do that in a nice way? Because I think many many need to do that, many similar tasks, but maybe not. They don't have the possibility to go in and change the code because it's the code comes from somewhere else. Yeah. So these are things I would like to I will personally focus on in the next next months. 
yeah. So some of these things uh, might be in our workflows course, which we aim to do in February. Yes. At least that might be a good starting point. I think exactly. maybe you're even going to be part of that, hopefully. Yes. Yeah, exactly. um, so the, the idea behind the workflows course is I've heard a lot of people say, okay, we see how stuff is done individually, but how is it put together and actually used? So I don't know exactly what it means, but I might be like, okay, here's how I actually develop on the cluster and transfer my data back and forth. Here's how I actually use containers in my project. Here's the way I'm actually parallelizing stuff and so yeah. on. And maybe, maybe we are also thinking about, should we have more like hackathons? Should we have some retreats? How can we combine in-person and online, you know, in a nice way? Um, what I would also like to do more again is more streaming of like short, mm. short episodes yeah. where we like hands-on look at the real problem and work on it together. A little bit like we did now with, with Samantha. So I would really love, love to do more of that mm -hmm. more often that we, Try to work on a real problem together. Yeah. And and record it, stream it, and get people participating. Yeah. We used to have something we called research software hour where we would go online and basically stream about random topics, taking suggestions. So a lot of the time you might say, Okay, I'd like to learn more about PyTest or more about um this documentation stuff or whatever. And we would go and do these kind of examples but we became a little bit busy and didn't have enough time to organize it. But if someone would like to join and help to organize this, like do the advertising, help us find the topics, things like that, then we would like to continue that quite a lot. Yeah, I have the ambition to restart it this fall. Now after this workshop, things go maybe calm down a little bit. And then what we also can use is if you have if you have a code project and you would like to discuss it with us on stream, that would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, imagine people su suggesting their own projects and we go co-work on them together. Yeah, we work on it, we discuss and we critique very like constructively, we give suggestions yeah. and learn from each other. Yeah. Well, with that being said, should we thank everyone for coming? Please continue the feedback. And we can see you on Zoom here. Yes, yeah, so we will switch to the exercise Zoom for um, like an outro party. Thank, thanks again to everybody involved, organizers, instructors, um, but also a special thanks for the team representatives, team leads, who did a lot of work in in-person exercise rooms and online exercise rooms. Yes. Okay. So see you there. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thanks. See you there. Bye.